What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, we're going to have a good look at China's new mission with the Tianwan lander as well as the Zerong rover. So we're going to check out this pan that they have on their site. What are they really up to? Are they doing simple scientific studies or are they looking and researching something much more? Folks, let's just jump right into this. You can see the title right here. The first batch of scientific images of the Tianwan 1 rover landing on Mars unveiled. But they got this photo right here, and for some reason it won't fully load, so I just right-clicked on it and grabbed it. The other ones, no issues whatsoever, right? I'll give you the page. As always, guys, you know that. This pan is actually 180 degrees to the right and 180 degrees to the left, so we pretty much got a whole 360 pan going on here, right? It's not showing the whole thing right here, so let's just jump into Photoshop. We can see it in there. Now you can see it right here, zero degrees, and off to your right goes 180 and 180 this way. Now, I'm wondering if this lander is in a small lake bed. And the reason why I say that is because if you look right here, it's pretty smooth, lighter. And then, of course, it gets a little darker on the edge. Like, that might have been, like, the small coastline or the edge of the water. And, of course, you have the land on the outer part of it. You can see right here it runs all along. See that? Okay. So, my question is, could they be hiding anything here? The answer is an overwhelming yes. Let me just show you something really weird but cool at the same time without doing a thing to this photo, right? Check this thing out. Look at this rock way off in the distance. Does that look remotely normal or natural to anyone? It looks like a monument to me. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It has a platform right here. Comes down. And of course, the ground does this. And it's on a flat platform. How do I know that? Let's keep going. See this right here? What is going on there, right? Okay, just that alone is cool. Now, when I started looking at this photo, I started saying, okay, is this ground actually flat or is there much more to it? If you have a trained eye by now, this is nothing to see this stuff. You can literally see where they patchwork this. Right there, you can see the line going like this, and I'm going to lift this back over again. Okay, literally went over that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but right here, let me go ahead and jump into it right there. Again, you can see this patchwork that they do. Oh my God, it's sad the way they do this, but they're not as slick as they think they are. Again, is this flat or is there much more? Now, keep in mind this whole pan is comprised of X amount of photos. So what I've noticed is that they've done a really deep centering on some parts. And what I mean by that, anywhere in this middle section seems to be you can get like a couple things out of it, but not a whole lot. But the other ends, folks, is where the money prize is. Here. And at the other end. And I'm going to show you the two ends. And I'm just going to glance over to the middle here and there briefly. Let's just jump right in there, shall we? Let's zoom into this. Okay, you're starting to notice there really, there's more to it than just a flat ground. Okay, you say, well, I'm really not seeing too much. Let's just glance over this slowly. Like, I've noticed this right off the bat. Okay, something right there. There are what looks like different pipes, and you're going to see this pretty soon, right here. There's something that's doing this, and you can see a pipe doing this. Again, guys, it's all about the trained eye. And what you're going to notice is almost like this weird rail type thing. And you can see when I say rail, meaning like a railing type thing. And it does this. And then, of course, it just kind of drifts off. Well, it goes in front of this piece here. Okay. And again, we have that other piece here. Now, again, here's this weird looking. I'm going to use it like a monument. And the reason why I say that is because, again, I can see the base that is doing this. And it's literally going like this. Okay, let me get this back off of this. You can have a better look right here. Check that out, folks. It's on an actual flat piece. How is that possible? There's the original. Okay. Again, folks, it's all about bringing out the lines to this, right? Just have a look. Oh, there's much, much more in here. Again, we try to bring out all the lines, and then what we do is anything that is white, pop it out as well. So you hear not a whole lot of anything going on until you get down to way over here. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to make you folks sick, but check this out. This gets really, really cool. 
all this area down here, check this out. What look like intelligently made pieces. Okay. You'll see that real soon. Really, really cool. Up top here, you can actually see these things. In fact, let's do this. I can see these things right here. Look at this. Popping out of different spots. Different shapes on the ground right here. But check that out. You can literally see this stuff right here. Popping out. Absolutely censored just like NASA does to their photos. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump right into the full enhanced right there for you folks. And I'm just going to have you have a good look at this. This is cool. It doesn't get any better than this, folks. Okay, so again, we have objects like this. What, like I said, it looks like it's doing this. Okay. Different parts sticking out of this manipulation. The white pieces are the actual anomalous, intelligently made parts. Again, this part right here. Are these parts actually in here? Well, what I'm going to do is as I move to each part, I'm going to go back to the raw photo so you can see if these actual shapes are there. Okay. So right there. Let's move to the right. Again, we have this weird, I don't know if they're putting this in themselves, but check out the actual squares coming down here. Okay. Kind of gets a little messy right there. But again, you can see pieces like this. But have a look also with your magnifiers at these other shapes at the bottom. Are these shapes even there? Right there, folks. I can see it right there. Check it out. Let's move into it. See how they did from here? They put this band of crap there, but just underneath, you can see the lines. Just underneath those, you can see where they manipulated. I can see the split right here. And again, when I bring out the lines, this actually breaks them up. You can see the faint line right here for this one. Right there. But as you can see, they go across. Okay. Again, here. And this fuzziness here is that sensor that they put up. But by using the dodge tool, we're able to bring out any white signatures in this photo. Move along. Again, this reminds me of some kind of weird monument. Because it's on a base. You can clearly see that. That, to me, is cool. Again, is it in there? It's right there. Now. Notice this piece right here. This is cool. I can see that almost plain as day. Right here. Up, down, and over. And you'll see some other piece right here when we totally enhance it. See right here? And we have this piece right here. Okay. What are these pieces and what are they doing in the photo? Something right here. Looks like it may be buried. Could be non-buried. Just the height of it itself, right? Again, bits and pieces. This one's interesting because when you get into this right here, check this piece out. And folks, don't forget to pause any of this and use your magnifiers. Small pieces. All of this right here, this, this grayish crap is actually centering. The pieces we want to see are these white pieces sticking out. So what you're seeing is bits and pieces of what's really here. Again, I can back up, and you can see these things pretty well. As we go along, folks, it just gets better and better. This right here. Look at the details in the bottom here. A little bit here and there. Got these pieces here, right here. Something here. Again, this fuzziness is from trying to blast through this crap that they have overlaid on top of whatever these objects are. Okay? Here. Is that stuff there? It's hard to see, but right there, I can see this piece right here. It appears to be doing this. It has something right in the middle of it. And you can see it right there. We have something that looks like rectangular shaped on the ground here doing this. 
and it appears to even go like that. You can just see just a, the edge of that. See that? It is, in fact, there. You can see it right here. Okay. Right here, not so much. Like I said, this, they really went to town on this to really block. And all you can see is like bits and pieces of this, like right here, just little bits and pieces. This gray, like I said, is actually the centering. You can see the white tops of it looks like it's supposed to be stones. But if you look just very, very faintly, they literally have height to them. Okay. Let's keep going. Again, look how dense this is right here. This is crazy. And what they do is they left the very top parts of the white just so you go, oh, look, it's flat rocks because this looks like nothing more than a flat area right here. And it's just flat rocks on the ground. It is not. Let's keep going. There's something else right here, which is, is really weird. Way in the back here. And you can see they got a split right here. You can see the way they stitched this. Something way in the background here. Not sure what to make of that. Okay. Let's keep going. Not a whole lot here, like I said. This, it's like, you can look at the, the striations and stuff they put on here. This is crazy. Just You can just see it's just a bunch of mush. Now, don't get me wrong. From a distance, it will not be clear. We know that. Bits and pieces. Now, keep in mind, every time we jump over a little bit, you're probably on a different photo. And that's the key. Some of these photos are really, really centered out. Some of them, not so much. This is where it starts to get really bizarre. Okay. Again, a little bit of white, nothing special. Now, as we go along, check this out, folks. Now, is that there? It surely is. It's right here going down. Right there. Little bits and pieces of the top part of this. And again, the first thing you do is use the burn tool. See if you can find any shapes at all in this photo. And then go from there. Okay. Right here. You can start to see that shape right here. First of all, I can see this right here. Look at this section. You can see it doing this. And it just starts to drop down here and then stops. This goes like this. And then it comes back down. So the more I dug into this photo the more these shapes started to pop, okay? Again, look at these shapes right here. Are those in the photo? Absolutely right there. Look at any line, and we'll go back and forth. Yep. Fully enhanced. All I do is make those brighter, whiter. That's it. But they are in the photo. Keep going. Folks, look at this stuff. This is crazy right here it is actually there right here you can see the actual shapes i think there's a separation right about here okay another piece is here this over here you can actually see this doing this and this there's a separation right here check this stuff out it is right here right in front of our face Okay. And what you can see is these other weird shapes right here on the ground. Look at the little squares and the things popping down here. What looks like some kind of weird dome-like thing here. I'm not sure what to make of that. And it's like they put this on here purposely to confuse us. Or they're just different levels. Whatever they may be. Again, right there. I can see it right here, guys. It's right there. Here's another one right here. See it? Right there. And you can see this other square piece right here. You can you can see that pretty darn easy. Right here. To the back. Looks like a piece coming off right like that. And you can see it pretty much plain as day. Now, not all of it's going to be that way. These things over here look like they've been kind of jumbled around. I'm not sure what to make of that. But they are, in fact, in the photo. This is what I was showing you in the beginning. Notice the pieces down here doing this. You get something that almost looks like it's rounded here, going like this here. Really, really weird, guys, but there it is. And I'm seeing a whole bunch of that stuff right there. Even this part here. You can see the very top, of it, almost like an oval type thing right there. Going down. And you have what looks like this weird piece going down like this 
It's right there. All of these things are lined up. See these? That is just bizarre, isn't it? But they are, in fact, in the photo. This, to me, appears a false sky. Notice how this is perfectly flat right here? No way. No way. Because they want you to believe that this is a flat ground and nothing more. This is the sky. Uh, pretty flat. Not too much to see. Take a look at it right now with your magnifiers. Look at the shapes that are in this sand or this ground, if you will. And yet, they want you to believe that that's actually natural. And folks, if you back up, like I said, it almost looks like a leg bed. Keep in mind, this is a 360. So this might have been a whole area might, in here might have been an old lake bed. And everything around this lake bed might have been structures. Now the question is, how big are these structures? Because this rover is not super large. It's kind of like our Spirit and Opportunity rovers. So they're not that big. In other words, if you were standing next to this thing, you'd tower over this. So if you don't walk over here, and there's no scale, I get your frustration, folks. I really do. Because many of you have said, hey, dude, can we get the scale to this? Again, these things look small. Or are they off in a distance? I don't know. I'm going to let you guys tell me what you think. Just crazy, crazy stuff. They are trying to hide stuff just like they do here with NASA. It's as simple as that. Who knows? Maybe they're taking the photos and they're giving them to NASA, and they're the ones that's censoring them. Because, like I said before, they're all bedfellows, so to speak. They're all working together in one form or another. So they're going to share this information and help each other out. Now, just to cite them alone, like I said, to me, that looks like a monument. Look at the way it's standing up. People go, well, it's just a rock. Is it? Because when I look at it, I see what it's got a base to it. And you can literally see it going like this, going around it. And you see the ground, if you will, going like this. But you can see the wall of said platform right there. I can see it pretty well. As always, I'm going to leave it up to you. Right there. Now I'm going to bounce, go to this side. Again, we're also keeping an eye on everything in the front, not so much on the top. Whatever these things are, folks, to me, it's intelligently made. They are. Folks, what are we looking at here? The first time I looked at this pan, and I also looked at one of their photos that's on that same page. Again, which you'll get. You'll get the link to it, right? There's a photo that I went down to to begin with, and I saw these crazy-looking objects, whatever they are, in the background. This is what prompted me to do the full pan. So I decided to take the whole pan and put it into Photoshop, and this is the items I found. And when I started to really enhance this thing, you can see the steps that I've taken. I started to bring out lines, started to bring out these whiter pots, get rid of the color, and we can see the shapes. Guys, give me your thoughts. Drop your comments down below. Don't forget to share the video. It is appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, we got some more crazy ones coming up. We're definitely going to be checking out a lot more of these Mars photos, so stay tuned for that. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell on the right-hand side so that you'll be notified of any new videos coming out. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.